Play has always been an important aspect of our work. I think growing up in the 80s with Nintendos and Ataris and going to arcades, there was something about the visceral experience of being there, being in these spaces where the lights and the sounds and the arcade cabinets and the people. And the idea was to bring that nostalgia back through gaming. When we were developing our Deluxe Flux project, we really took inspiration from that experience. When Herman Miller Gaming reached out to us, it was originally to work on their Prince collection, but there was so much inspiration and exciting things to like look at within their, their gaming division that we expanded the scope. We found like a pathway where we bring Fail, Deluxe Flux, and Herman Miller Gaming together. The process of making the joysticks really starts first on the paper, with just drawing them out, letting them sort of come to life, redrawing elements, and really finding the spirit of each character in those drawings. We wanted to bring something to Herman Miller Gaming that was not in the digital realm, something that captured some of the character making of gaming, but had uh, the tactile wood hand-built feel that Herman Miller is known for a craftsmanship quality. When we first saw the embodied gaming chair, we thought it was a totally radical design. It was super complex and very interesting. We looked at it as an object first, and it presented itself with this really great large canvas through the seat and back. And as we looked at the chair and understood the parts more, it sort of felt akin to what we felt with vintage skateboards and all the parts and the ways that we could modify them, customize them, and sort of take those apart and paint them and bring them to life. Drawing and cut and paste collage are sort of a cornerstone of our image making process. They both give us an opportunity to highlight different aspects of image making, inspiration, and play. It's always been kind of starting with black and white images, cutting and pasting, remixing, kind of like a DJ, and then finding new meaning in it, and then spitting it out into the, what becomes the art. We wanted to bring to life what we've always been inspired by, these sort of tactile, handmade objects where you could really feel that life in them. And uh, hopefully bring joy to whoever's home they come to live in.